Kukula is a town close to Guadalajara. So now we are downtown Kukula. Here is a kiosk. And you really feel that this old vibe here, where you can imagine how Jorge Negrete came riding. And he was maybe there at the kiosk. This is in Kukula. Of course, singing all the way. In Mexico's golden age of cinema, Cucula became very famous when the Mexican superstar, the actor Jorge Negrete, sang the Cucula song in the year 1943. Cucula is famous for its mariachi music that is now recognized as world heritage. Mariachi is music special from Mexico. Cucula has a mariachi school and a mariachi museum. Both places I was received with the most heartwarming welcoming from the sweetest and most loving people. They also have a secret tunnel system under the city with a very interesting history that almost nobody knows about. Hang on till the end where I will show you these tunnels where I exclusively have been allowed to film. I'm standing in the Mariachi Museum and they were so friendly to let us in even it's between opening hours, we, it's two o'clock now and it's just closed. But they said, now welcome, you can just watch the museum alone. That was very sweet, so let's go and see it. Let's see what we have here, it's a beautiful painting. And this painting that you can see must be Jorge Negrete and, and the actress from this movie. Do you ever think of me at the time? from Silver. So it's from this area that this was how mariachis looked traditional. And here you have the key to Guadalajara that was given to Kukula as a gift of brotherhood. The Kukula is a mariachi. We have the instruments. We have the violin that they're using in the mariachi bands. We have the viola. And here the kitaron and a trumpet, another violin, new ela, and they really like this is from 1939, and another violin. Looks like it has been played a lot. She let us in and let us have the whole museum for herself, even they were actually closed. That was amazing. It was a beautiful museum. It's really a hot day, but it's really nice climate here. Heading towards the downtown main plaza. Do you Here. 
hier. Vi har her fint løn, altså. Som eko. Look at this beautiful pink church, det her. Now we're going to have a look at the church over here. It's really beautiful decorated. Park is so well kept and everything. Is that beautiful? Church bell is ringing. The church is just so beautiful with this flower carpet and the stand is here between the lime trees. Could not be more exotic for a little day. Guillermo in there, that is a historian, says that there are some tunnels that lead out of the town and we are going to see them. They are, they are actually starting inside the Mariachi school in the back there. So many interesting things. are in the back here, two doors. Yes, it's me. 
muy bonito, muy mucho. Este que acabamos de pasar es el mariachi de Cultura. El otro es Sol de mi Tierra. Eh, son mariachis con mucho talento. Los niños traen muchas ganas de ser alguien en la vida, de transmitir la música conjulense, la música de Jalisco, la música de México y llevarla a otros lugares, a otras fronteras. Entonces, los niños traen mucho corazón y, y les gusta que los escuchen. Gracias. 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 María Chi, tierra de Cuculo. from the Spanish conquest school and uh, it was a way to escape out of the town and now we're going to go in down in the tunnel it's six meter down and humid and uh, dusty but uh, it's really interesting Under the earth. The Spanish escapes. This way. This tunnel, it goes up to Templo de la Cruz, like eight blocks away from here. Under the Spanish conquest, this was built by the Spaniards for people to escape and it was used for the second time for people to escape. In 1922 there, there were used for these tunnels again for people to escape because there was a Christian revolution where the president wanted to kill all the Christian people so everybody was trying to escape that believed in God to another temple from here otherwise they would be killed by the army. In 1932 Kukula was founded by the Spaniards and they have a very special way of building and in that same uh, time they built this tunnel system also and you can see these, these bows, these arcs here that is typical Spaniard style from that time and, and the stones is also classic for the Spaniards for example over here we have different sizes because I guess they were handmade back in time and that's why I look like that and this is very interesting because this here that, that just looked like a bunch of stones is actually a map that shows the tunnel system and I was told that there was a, this stone here symbolizes this cluster and up there is the other escape cluster where up in the mountain so we have to find different roads, find the way that, that needs to be taken to go there. 
It's probably that one that goes to the cluster escape and the other one goes to all the destinations around in the town and outside the town. I was just told to take a little saliva on my finger and stick it in here because there is some wind going on because there's another tunnel hiding behind here and the tunnel goes all the way to the mountain where this other temple is. All of these holes here is tunnels that go to different places and they're all closed right now. And up there is the only one that is open and it also has many ways, escape ways to different locations but it's dangerous to go in because there's no oxygen anymore before there was more ventilation because everything was open and the whole city knew there was tunnels here behind the cluster but and, and they kept it as a secret so they all knew that they could escape and uh, these tunnels were hiding behind the toilets that the cluster actually had here up there. Guillermo is, is a researcher of this place and he's just told me that they opened it this year. Before that, it, this place was totally closed and impossible to enter. And yeah, just a big hole in the earth closed for the public. But now he opened, they opened it and he's a researcher behind all of this I just told. See. You see some up here is the railway tracks for the train. It's the underside of the train railway. That's amazing. And yes, up here was the surface of the earth. Wow. This is from the inside of the tunnel system where the toilets were in the old days. This is the hole down and the stairs that they just made so it was open for the public. It's so interesting to see here now going out of the tunnel system and now entering again the Mariazzi school. That was such an amazing experience. Now you hear all the mariachis practicing and before it was a cluster for priests and nuns behind this church. Such an amazing thing. In this room in the cluster there is an old from the old days where they took water. It's 10 meters deep.
was the most amazing experience here at the Mariachi School. Thank you so much to all the sweet people that was playing for us and our amazing Guillermo that told us everything about the place and, and the history. I'm so happy. I, I was so touched about how well they treated us, how so sweet they were. I'm, I'm really touched. I almost like cried of happiness because it was so beautiful experience. Thank you so much. This place is where the mariachis from the school comes and have presentations every Sunday. I really hope I can come and hear it. Now a little chocolate here after. See how beautiful this chocolate is. It's almost too pretty to to even drink it. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe my channel for more contests next time and see you very soon. Bye.